we're sitting at the uh, dinner table at a relative's house last night and they are talking about investing money into stock you know they have this uh, robin hood app and you get to invest or buy stock with that robin hood app and they say well buy low sell high that makes sense right you buy something at 10 bucks and you hope that it goes up to 20 bucks and you just made you know double your money right there they say everybody should be doing it everybody should be using this robin hood app and i'm thinking to myself man if i had 500 dollars it's definitely not going into stock. I know that I can put, I can, I can generate 30 leads for 500 bucks. And if I'm selling 15, 20%, let's just say it's 20% of those leads and, and it's Medicare, cash up front, I'm gonna make, you know, six times what I made in, 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 in what I spent in those leads, right? And the reason I'm making this video is because my, my buddy Kyle, he, he made this graphic for me so I can show people that might want to jump into the Medicare space. Until somebody shows me otherwise, Medicare is the best residual income out there. Until so somebody shows me otherwise, like I'm sure there is something else out there, but I just don't know it yet. I think Medicare is, is, is the best one yet, right? So I'm so if I'm if I if I'm not going to put $500 in a in a in a in a stock and hope to make another 500 bucks out of that, I'm going to put $500 into marketing, generating my own leads, selling 15 to 20% of that. Cash, I'm making, you know, 2500 bucks above the $500 that I spent. Right? If I'm $500 generating 30 leads, selling 20% of them, selling six of them, Medicare Advantage plans would pay us $510 for each sale. That's that's 3,000 bucks, right? That's just cash up front. We're not even talking about the residual income. We're not we're not talking about the 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 the, the value of that client over a lifetime. You see the graphic, the graphic says, you know, if we're selling 10 policies a year, we're not even doing this full time. We're doing 10 policies a year. For the next 10 years, we would we would make $150,000 from just selling 10 policies uh, a year for the next 10 years. 50, we would make almost a million bucks. 75, we would make over 2 million bucks. Now let's just say that, you know, Okay, the, the policies don't stay on the book for, for, for 10 years. They stay on the book for five years, let's say. I mean, still half of that total is, is fantastic. Everybody should be, should be in the Medicare business. When you turn 65 years old, you have to get on Medicare. 99.9% .9 of the time, you have to get on Medicare somebody's foot in the door. And if you're selling life insurance or annuities, it's your foot in the door to help them through their, close out their retirement process, you know, fix their annuities or whatnot, you know, which I don't know much about, but sooner or later, I'm gonna get into that as well, right? But my friend Kyle, he made this graphic. Yesterday, we're having a conversation about investing $100 into a stock. And I'm thinking in the back of my head, Heck no, I'm, I'm, if I got a hundred bucks, if I got a 500 bucks, I'm investing it to, to, to generate more Medicare sales. Because not only am I gonna get the $500 back and then some, I'm gonna get way more in the residual income. Everybody should be, should be selling Medicare.